Hi, my name is Gary Glass. I'm the director of the American Home Brewers Association. I'm teaching you how to brew beer at home. In this segment, we will cover the basic equipment that you will need to brew beer. Starting out with lots of things that you probably already have around your house, including a stove, running water, can opener. You'll need a, a fairly sizable pot, anywhere from one and a half to five gallons will work just fine. A sizable spoon, uh, metal's best, less risk of contamination with stainless steel. You need a measuring cup, a strainer for straining out your grains. And then you have uh, some equipment that you'll probably need to purchase from your local homebrew supply shop. Uh, we have right here a basic equipment kit that runs about $80. It's gonna include this fermenter, uh, which is a food grade plastic bucket, a bottling bucket, another food grade plastic bucket, an airlock. What this does is it goes on top of the fermenter. While the beer is fermenting, the yeast is going to be producing carbon dioxide and you need to let that out. So what this does is it's got a little hat in there. Uh, you fill this up with water. Any contaminants in the, in the air can't get into the beer itself. So it keeps the beer sanitary uh, and it allows the, the carbon dioxide to escape. We have a floating thermometer. This will go into your fermenter when, once you've added the wort to the fermenter. It'll tell you when, when you get to the proper temperature for, for adding your yeast. We have what's called a racking cane. Racking is just a brewer's term for siphoning and transfer your beer from the fermenter into your bottling bucket. And then for bottling, we have a bottle brush that you can use to clean the inside of your bottles. A very important uh, piece of equipment. A bottle filler. It's spring loaded, you stick it into the bottle, and then when you press down on that, it allows the beer to flow into the bottles. You also need a bottle capper, and the way this works is it's got a magnet on the bottom there. The cap goes on there, you place this on top of the bottle, swing it down, and it'll seal your bottles with your cap. There's some optional equipment that you, that you might want to invest in. Uh, you know, maybe not for your first brew, but uh, things to consider for future, future brewing. Uh, here's a glass carboy, uh, and you would use this for uh, secondary fermentation. Uh, it's a little more advanced than, than what we'll do in, uh, in today's brewing segment, but uh, uh, this is something that a lot of homebrewers use. It's a big glass jug, we call it a carboy. Uh, this is a hydrometer. This will likely come with your basic brewing equipment, but it's not necessary. What it does is it measures the density of the beer. This is a handy piece of equipment. Uh, it's a bottle washer. Uh, it just screws on to the end of your, uh, your kitchen sink faucet. Uh, and then uh, it's, it's also spring loaded. So you just push down your, your bottle on, onto it and it'll spray a, a jet of water onto the, in, into the back of your bottles. A very handy piece of equipment. Not necessary, but it makes cleaning bottles a lot easier. You can also use it on your carboys. Uh, and then over here we have a longer carboy brush for getting in there and cleaning your carboys. Uh, so that covers the basic equipment. Next up we'll talk about cleaning and sanitizing that.